No, we have all of our routes. Let's continue. I want to use two npm package, so let's go to terminal and install them. npm i axios react icons. We use axios for sending HTTP requests and we use react icons for its icons. Then let's run our server. So type cd backend and then npm run dev. Then uncomment the default course middleware and comment the second one because our IP is different in this project. Now let's open a new terminal for our frontend project. Type cd frontend and then npm run dev. Before developing our homepage, I want to create a component for loading state. This is a good idea to show our user a spinner when it is a loading state. Let's create a new folder called components and create a new file named spinner.jsx and inside of that, let's have a division with class names of animate ping, width of 16, height of 16, margin 8, rounded full and bg sky of 600. That's it. Now let's go to home page and implement it. Let's import use the state and use effect from react. Then we import axios from axios. Then import a spinner from its address. And then we need a link of react router down. Then we need some icons like AI outline edit, BS info circle, MD outline add box and MD outline delete. Then we want to have two different states, so let's create them. One state for our books with default value of an empty array, then a loading state with default value of false. Then we need use effect to call our backend. I don't talk about use state and use effect because I assume that you are familiar with basic React. Let's create a use effect with an empty dependency array. In that, first let's use set loading to true, then call axios.get with our backend road for books list. Then we receive response and set books to response.data.data and then set loading to false. Response.data is the object of our response result and in that we had count and data. So we use this data to save it on our state. On catch block we receive error and then we log it to the console and then we set loading state to false. Now let's work on JSX parts. In main division we use P4 or padding 4. Then let's have a division with class names of flex, justify between, items of center. Then let's have an h1 with class names of text 3x large, margin y of 8, and text of books list. After this h1, let's have a link to a slash books a slash create. And for its label, we use an icon of MD outline at box with classes of text sky 800 and text 4x large. After the first division, let's open a curly brace and check if we are on loading state or not and if it is true, let's render a spinner component, else we return a table with classes of width full, border separate and border spacing 2. In that, we must have a t-head and a t-body. In t-head, let's have a t-row and in that, I want to have a td with classes of border, border slate 600, rounded md and text of no. Then let's have another th with same classes and text of title. Then again another th with text of author but with an additional class of max md hidden. So that this column would be hidden in mobile and tablet sizes. And again another th with same classes with title of publisher. Finally let's have a th with title of operations but for this one I don't use max md of hidden. So, we have five columns and two of them would be hidden for lower sizes. Then, let's open a curly brace and use books.map with an arrow function. We receive book and index for each item of books array and we return a tr with key of book.underlineid and class name of height 8. First item is a td with class names of border, border slate 700, rounded md and text center and for its text we open a curly brace to use index plus 1 because index starts from 0 but we need to start from 1 then let's have another td with same classes and text of book title then another td with title of book.author but for this one we use max md of hidden like the top section then let's have another td with book.publisher and again with max md of hidden and finally, another td for our operations. In the final td, I use a division with class names of flex, justify center, gap x of 4, 
and in this division i want to have three different links with icons let's create a link to a slash books a slash details a slash book dot underline i i'm using this syntax to create dynamic rows inside this link let's have a bs circle info with classes of text to x large text green 800 then another link to a slash books a slash edit a slash book dot underline id with edit icon and yellow color then final link to a slash books a slash delete a slash book dot underline id with delete icon and a red color now let's format our document and then go to our application to see the result first let's test add then let's test book details then let's test book edit then test book delete and you can see that they are all working fine 